Hey guys, it's Doug here, coming to you with yet another video helping transform you from pawn to player in this game we call life. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the importance of changing up your environment, of switching up the things you do on a daily basis. Now guys, I know we often get into these patterns and these schedules uh, in our life where, you know, we've had the same job for two and a half years, you know, we've had the same friendships, we go to the same restaurants when we're hungry, we, you know, just at the end of the night, you know, we chill out with a few YouTube videos and fall asleep. And these things are awesome, guys, you know, that in a way the familiar routine does, you know, help our body adjust to what we need to be doing on each, in each day. However, recently, guys, in my own life, two things have happened that have just dramatically shaken up the daily routine I found myself following the last few months or so. And now, guys, it's really cool because the, re the reason I bring up that there's two things is because there's multiple ways of going about shifting the experiences you have uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, guys, the first thing for me was I recently just got two puppies. You might even hear them playing there because, you know, they're puppies and they go non-stop. And in fact, that's why I haven't been making as many videos the last couple weeks was mainly because I'm getting these two acclimated to life here at the house. <laughs> and it's been a blast. But the thing is, guys, having these two has completely shifted my focus, what I can spend my time on each day, you know, how vigilant I have to be. Because while they're a lot of fun, of course, they can start going into things that they shouldn't. And, you know, I'm sure you guys know puppies. This isn't a puppy-related video. But the fact that I got these two, you know, creatures that I'm now taking care of and two new members of the family, it's really changed the dynamic of my day. And I've switched up so many things. And it's just such a fresh, unique perspective on each and every day when I have these two guys to take care of, you know. Um, and it just got me thinking that one of the first and easiest ways is to just associate yourself with different beings, you know. So you don't necessarily have to go as wild as getting a new pet or finding a new significant other, Um but even just going to a different place and, you know, talking up to somebody who you might share interests with and, you know, developing, you know, acquaintances into, you know, deeper friendships, things of that nature, whatever it is, if you just shift the time you spend, you know, to other beings, other things, you know, it starts to really shift your perspective because now, you know, at to use the puppy example again, I've been going through life, you know, thinking, okay, but I also have to, you know, I can do this, this, and that, but I also have to, you know, check out X, Y, and Z because the puppies are going to need to eat at a certain time or, you know, oh, I haven't taken them out in a while. I better stop what I'm doing, take them out, make sure they're not going to the bathroom in incorrect spots. And, you know, all these kind of things, you know, maybe with a new friend, it's like, oh, well, I wouldn't even suggest doing that. They're not interested in that. Or, you know, you get a new girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever it is, and now all of a sudden you're going out more and doing more date-like things. Whatever it is, guys, that forces you to change up what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And you'll come into so much learning and so much new experiences that will have you growing as a person whether you want to or not, and I don't necessarily mean that it's a forceful or super difficult thing because, you know, the puppies are mostly just fun, the occasional trying moment here and there, but ultimately I've just learned so much from them. Now, guys, the other thing that happened to me recently was I actually went down to Texas for a cousin's 40th birthday party, and that was a lot of fun. And, you know, normally it was a very impromptu, you know, oh, I'm just going to get into the plane and go kind of scenario. I was invited and then all of a sudden I'm going. And what was fascinating about that is normally, you know, when I go anywhere, it would be, you know, planned out weeks, if not months in advance. And it would sort of, 
you know, mentally, spiritually, whatever it is, I'm like prepared for it. With this Texas trip, it was just boom, all of a sudden I'm going. It was very spur of the moment. And, you know, it's a lot different than how we are in Wisconsin. But it was so much fun. I had such a blast. It's beautiful energy out there. Um, but no matter where you go, it's just immediately shifting your location is also going to force this growth, this force force you to collect new experiences, meet new people, do things you wouldn't do, you know, in your home state. If, uh, you know, using the example of just traveling to a different state, I can only imagine this exponentially changes as you go to other countries, um, you know, which I've not yet been to other countries. I am planning on going as soon as possible, though, because I, especially after this weekend where I went to Texas, it uh, really opened my eyes to just how much we can grow and develop when we leave our home base, so to speak, for a while. And a home base is very nice, don't get me wrong. But just saying, nope, this weekend I can't even get there because I'm hundreds of miles away, right? And it's just such a fun experience. So I thought I'd come on the guys basically just to remind you, maybe give you a little motivation here. You know, at least that's the intention of the video is to just boldly break your schedule, dig yourself up out of the routine you've been in and just experience something that you normally wouldn't. Because guys, it immediately shifts your reality. You're immediately more in present time because you know, you're in another state. Well, okay, now I have to try to learn my bearings. You know, now I have to do this. Or again, you know, if you're hanging out with a, a new friend or something, it's like, well, okay, I have to see what they like, what they don't. Will they respond to this type of joke? And you have to completely switch up what you've been doing, what you're comfortable doing. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, having that comfortable home base to return to. But it's even more important, I've found, to be flexible and willing to just thrust yourself out of that comfort zone in order to grow and learn as much as we possibly can. Because after all, that is why we here on the planet, is to grow, learn, develop, and just basically collect a bunch of new experiences uh, before we leave, you know, learn as much as we possibly can in each given lifetime. So anyway, guys, it's a simple video, but it's one, you know, I, I'm sure most of us, you know, we fall into, oh, whatever, you know, I'll go on that vacation later on next year, whatever it is. But I encourage you guys to really just say, you know what, put the foot down and just experience something new. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, leave down in the comments, you know, what you decide to do. I know in America here, we have 4th of July week coming up. So maybe you have extra days to play with, do something bold and new that you've never done before and leave a comment down below, maybe before and after, you know, Hey, I'm doing this. And then afterwards, come back and update. Wow. That was amazing guys. You know, I learned a lot and you know, X, Y, and Z happened. And now all of a sudden I realize I like this. And, you know, it goes on and on just having that different experience and just sharing it with people. I think you'll really learn a lot. I'll learn a lot. We'll all learn a lot. And that will be an amazing time for all. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. The puppies going wild. Got to take care of them. Got to rein them in. <laughs> so until next time, guys, have fun out there. Take it easy.